first impressions, first night uh, of Lamal week. What do you what did you think last night? I think last night was a was a good qualifying. It was a good uh, four hour free practice, followed from a good two hour qualifying. There was just uh, a certain stage of qualifying for some reason the track had no grip at all. We were struggling and we thought it was just a problem of our car. Then we realized that everyone was struggling a lot, every category, every kind of prototype. And um, that was really, really strange because suddenly we started to have the lap time increase by six, seven seconds, not only one or two. It was really huge difference, really difficult to drive the car, so easy to make mistakes, which everyone has made. At least everyone went straight once or uh, because it was so difficult to, to, to break, easy to lock up the front due to the very poor grip. But then it seems that at the end when uh, our sister car put a new tire, everything went back to normal. And uh, that's why we are now more confident because when we left the track yesterday night we were not really really happy about the, the performance. Actually Tom made a very good performance at the, just the beginning of the session. But then immediately later, for uh, some reason, something changed. And from that moment, we were struggling for the next one hour uh, without getting any feedback from the car. Do you have um, any idea what that might have been? I know the track has been changed a bit since last year. There are a couple points that did not. Uh, I think uh, the main problem was that the temperature was quite low and probably the tire did not uh, work as it should. It's like, I think in, uh, we were out of the working window of the tire that make everything uh, really, really difficult to, to judge. Did you, uh, did you have a chance to run at all with the Toyotas last night? Uh, no, not. Uh, even uh, in the in pre-qualifying, uh, in uh, the free practice, sorry, from 4 to 8, I didn't get any chance to, to run with Toyota. Uh, I know that one of the two cars got immediately quite a big uh, um, uh, technical problem. Uh, then I know that in the night, actually, I follow Sarazen, which was for the first time in the car, and uh, I was quite impressed about the uptime he has done, has done in, in few laps. And then I think they will be very, very competitive. I'm, I'm sure about that. How would you say conditions were last night? Is the track got better towards the end of the night? Of course, there were some great times, but down. Uh, how were track conditions? No, no, the track condition was very, very bad. It was very, very bad for uh, some reason. Uh, difficult to say. As I said, probably temperature very low, tire out of their uh, working window. Uh, there are no other explanation because driving you feel like there was uh, oil on the track but there was no oil and there was just a uh, very poor uh, grip in uh, very bad track condition even at the end of the night when the, when the times were getting faster no that's what they said before and then our uh, teammates put a new tire and it seems that at least for one or two laps it was working but the impression was talking with uh, with uh, my colleagues that after a few laps was easy to go back to this very bad condition. The reason I, ha I ask is the numbers, uh, the better numbers from last night are, are pretty much qualifying numbers from last year, um, uh, or pole position numbers from last year. So um, if I, where I'm going with this, the track conditions were less than optimum, we may see. No, I think for sure uh, the new asphalt make a difference. Uh, they resurface the, a lot of part of the track, especially the two chicane on the Unedier, the straight on the Unedier, which at least give an advantage in terms of uh, braking and also cornering, because the, the grip is higher. Yesterday, in other part of the track, I have to say the condition was not uh, perfect, was not perfect, but uh, uh, yeah, it was still enough to make a, a, the same lap time than last year for position. Uh, but I think the the main uh, 
uh, difference compared last year uh, is that uh, now with the new surface in, in few parts of the track we gain quite a lot of grip. That's why the gap is almost closed from, uh, from last year. The forecast for tonight is kind of back and forth. We may have... It's strange because uh, yeah, I, I've been told that there is some chance of rain, but uh, I don't know. We see because if I check uh, the meteor, which normally follow and it always works, probably it uh, seems to be dry. Uh, I don't know. I, actually, we hope it will be dry because we have still a lot of to do. And if it will be rain, and then the race, as it seems to be, will be dry, then you know we, we do not like so much to run in the in wet, especially in the night. Uh, and then probably we will not get so much. Uh, running time because if according with the meteor if the weekend will be dry you know it, it always makes no sense to, to run so much in wet because it's, it's so dangerous that so easy to to make a mistake and to compromise uh, some, 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 some results in the weekend. Am I correct in saying there's no reason to risk the car and you're not going to break the lot beat yes. the qualifying time? Yes. So. Yeah, it's true. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what chat look for tonight? I think well, if it stays clear, you'll maybe bring that time down? So do you think as the, as the track is as the tire hits or as rubber hits? I think we, we have to try to, to, to improve the lap time from yesterday. We know it's possible because Tom get traffic and it could be faster, easily faster. Uh, but then, as I said, when we left the track, we were a little bit disappointed, and that is the last feeling you had. And then that's it, what you have in your mind. And then what is is important is to get in the car and get again back the, the great feeling we had in the first four hours we have done, or we had in pre-qualifying.